you've told the story of how the Halo theme originally came to you, uh, but for the benefit of me and for everyone who may not have heard it, yeah, please tell me that story again because <laughs> it is you know the Halo theme is one of the most recognizable phenomenal pieces of musical work in well, the history of games. Just for you, Ryan, I might actually expand slightly. Please. And give you some That's stuff what the show have. is for. There we you have go. all the time in the world. In depth, yeah. <laughs> so our studio had burned down, believe it or not, in, in 1999. And by that point, Bungie had moved from the south side of Chicago and they were right across the block from us. So we were in the middle of doing games. We were, we were uh, I was doing sound design on Halo, mm -hmm. early Halo stuff, and working on another game called Subterra Core, um, which there's this whole other story there. But um, I found out Joe Staten uh, writer. called yep. me, the writer at Bungie, and said, we're going to be on stage next week for Macworld 1999 with Steve Jobs. So um, we. It was like everybody scrambling to put together a, a demo that would work on the Mac. Um, but we had no, the sound engine we were working on didn't work on the Mac yet. There was no way to play music, so uh, music or sound. And so I said, look, what we should do is just let me record a score for whatever it is you have as yeah. a scripted demo. We'll just play the score simultaneously and hope everything sort of syncs up. And of course, by this point, Halo had gone from a strategy game to finding its role as, a, as, an, as an action shooter. It was an action shooter, but believe it or not, I think for that demo, it was still third person. Right. Yeah. And uh, I, I don't even think Master Chief was an actual character, but we had one of the cybernetic marines we were going to be squads Yeah, of the demo, look for it online. <laughs> it, it is, the YouTube of it is, yeah, is out yeah, there. Yeah, it's pretty it's funny. Interesting. Uh, it's interesting to see because it was still not fully formed yet, but you still get the feeling that that's Master Chief uh, as the star in third person. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so I, we needed to do a score. I said, let me do a, a bang up score. If we're going to be on stage in New York, let me, let me actually hire some orchestral players and some singers. Let me see what I can do and make it a real production. And Alex reluctantly agreed. Alex Seropian, one of Seropian the co-founders. I said, look, you know, you, you don't have to pay me a creative fee for this. I'll own the music. Mm, Smart. There you go. Uh, but I'll license it to you for this one thing. Yeah. And he's like, well, how much is that going to cost? And it was like, I think the expenses were, I don't know, 3500 bucks or something. Um, which for, a, you know, a game trailer thing was cheap. Nobody was doing this at the time. So I was driving over to Mike's house because we were back in the basement. Our studio had burned and we'd lost a lot of stuff. So I was driving back to Mike's basement studio where we sort of cobbled together something. And I said, I thought, okay, Joe had told me that the emotions for this piece should be ancient, mysterious, and epic. And so as I was driving, I thought, okay, ancient, you know, monks are ancient. So I'm going to start with some sort of monk chant. And it's got to be hooky. It's got to stick in people's heads. And then we'll go into something sort of epic and pounding cellos and drums and stuff. But this is the part I don't think I've told people before. Um, I was, as I was driving, I was thinking, well, what, you know, I got to do a good hooky melody. Yesterday, all my troubles seem so far away. Da 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 it's got four sort of irregular phrases. And so it was like yesterday, da 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 da. I actually decided to do a monk scale, which is Dorian. So I, all my troubles seem so far away. Ah, da 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 da. Ah, oh, I believe in yesterday. Uh, oh, whatever it is, you know. Yeah. Uh, 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 one low point. Uh, 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 uh. So, it's not a copy of the yesterday melody, but it, the yesterday melody inspired me to put that together because I thought, well, if I have one high point, one low point, do four irregular phrases, but still do a legitimate monk chant melody. Uh, it maybe it'll have legs. So this is in the car again, because yeah. you mentioned in I the know, car. I know, I did the same thing with Flintstones, it's weird. So the car thing, like, 
car thing, shower thing? That's a real. It's a real. That's thing. a real thing. Yes, it is. Is it? And I, I actually, I mean, the majority of the stuff I've written that people like, <laughs> uh, I, I pretty much am sitting at the keyboard. But I, it's funny to me that like the two most sort of memorable or successful individual melodies uh, I wrote in the car. And the same thing happens to Mike. Mike has written some great melodies that you guys know. And you know, most of the time he's with his guitar, but he writes in the shower. Hmm. A melody will come to him in the shower. So like he'll throw a melody at me and I'm like, yeah, that's great, let's do that. So if you're in the car and you've, you've, you're hitting on this in the car, <laughs> do you like pull the car over and write stuff down immediately? Or are you just like going over and over trying to get home as fast as you can? Yeah. Uh, no, I never write anything down. It's funny, today now I'll, I'll pull out my iPhone and hit, th hit it on the, the record button. Yeah. Uh, but back then it was just like, well, I'm just going to keep singing it till I get to Mike's house. <laughs> and then I'm like, hey, Mike, I got the monk melody. It goes like this. And he goes, yeah, I like that. So that was, that's how that goes. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, and then, of course, it was the, the two of us plus three jingle singers that I hired to sing it. So it was yeah. the same people that I had singing Mr. Clean. <laughs> We're singing the classic Halo Monks.